gonna start off with some of our sedums. And we have a ch oh, nice chicks and hens. Again, you just wanna root, uh, break up your root ball. And you're gonna start right at the top next to your grass. And just kind of nestle it in there. Uh, next, I'm gonna use this little uh, blue-eyed grass. which gives us another um, nice vertical texture. And we're just gonna tuck that in. We have some Angelina sedum. Again, take off your bottom of your root ball. And anything goes. It's all about just using different colors. I think the more patchwork of colors you use, the more interesting it is. So just by using a lot of different colors, this is a nice stone crop with some red foliage to it. Again, break up your root ball. And these are really tough plants, so you can't really hurt them. And that's gonna spill over the edge. To pick up on our gray grass, we're gonna use this sedum. This is called Silver Frost. Again, break up your root ball. You could take it down to about an inch. We'll put this one towards the back. Uh, we'll use a red chicks and hens. On this side to repeat that red. And again, we want to go up a little bit, creating like a hill. This is an Echeveria, it has great texture. Come right up along your grass. And this way you're kind of seeing it at, on a hillside instead of it was just all flat. I think I'll use something, this lime green, lemon ball stone crop. So these succulents will take little to almost uh, no water through the summer, so you don't have to be um, worried about watering conditions that much because they like it very, very dry. It's a great for a, um, a patio uh, to put on a table as a centerpiece or to give as a gift to someone because it is low maintenance, so they'll be successful in keeping it going. a little ice plant that has some purple blooms to it to give us a little bit of color if we want some. Again, you just want to tuck them in. The more the better. And then I do like, and some of the holes that I can't get to, I like to use just use some stones to give it another kind of added little look, an alpine look. Uh, you could also use some thyme. This is a woolly thyme. This is great for creeping over the edge. And you can just keep spinning your pot around, lift your succulent, and then just tuck that in there. Here's another stone crop. Again, just break up your root ball. Tuck that in. I'm going to use another uh, larger stone. And I could probably fit one more little thing, and this is, I'll use another, um, I guess I should use my hands back here. So you need a quite a few succulents to uh, create this look. So when you're going to the garden center, you want to make sure that you collect enough and have enough textures and different colors because it does take a lot of succulents to create this. And that's pretty much finished. Um, if you have a little space like this, that's okay. We have some um, garden stone, de some decorative stone that you could just add to those little gaps. And that creates another little nice garden look to your container.
and also again you would want to put some uh, solar reese fertilizer in this container to keep it fertilized and keep it going for the whole summer long and this is good into the fall and winter again just adding some stones to all the little gaps and I think we're about finished and that's our container that's our finished container